So it's been a while. It's been since June 1st. Over two weeks. No videos. Where have I been? I've been here. It's um... It's been really hot. So I haven't really been going anywhere. Interesting. Just work. And also my software for video editing was being weird. It wasn't importing files correctly and there was no sound. And I was trying to figure out why that is, but... Anyway, I'll figure something out for this video. This is what I've been working on. PVC pipes, lots of different types of things, and bolts and holes. What could it be? There's all kinds of rings with slots and other rings that go on them I'll show you what it does this end cap goes on to this that goes on there uh, this end cap will go on here with that eventually that will go all the way on but okay, those are the ends. These little rings slide over this and can spin. This big ring fits over it. So you have a bigger ring that spins. And these bolts stick up just a little bit. And then these rings fit over the bolts. When you turn it this way, it's locked. So I have several of these made, which slide over and twist. Slide over and twist. And once I have all seven completed... Actually, that's not... That's not right. That one isn't. This one's fine. As you can see, those go over. Something like that. Uh, when this cap goes on this end, actually. Yeah, and there's a little retaining ring that goes in there. But anyway, it's like this. And you can't open it. You have to turn these once you get the right combination, oops, then it will open. But I don't have it. It's all stuck together. I'll just take the wings off for now. Anyway, this retaining ring goes on this end to uh, hold all the other rings on. And then it's got a big cap boot on this side, so they can't go this way. They can't go this way, so the all these rings are in the middle. So it's basically a combination lock. And when you get it all open, you can open it up, and there's going to be a thing hidden in here. So anyway, it's the final stage of a multi cache that I'm making. So you have to go to seven other places, find the clues, and then you rotate these rings to line up with the clues. And then once you get them all correct, it opens up. So here's what it looks like assembled. It's not finished yet. I still need to glue the rings onto the rings. And also there's no there's nowhere to no place to tell you where to line up your combination. And there's also no markings on the rings. So there's nowhere to tell where the rings have to be or even where to line them up. So if I were to glue it together like this, it would be very hard to open again. But because it's not glued, I can just pull on it and the rings will just come off. And also, I don't have any glue holding the rings on. This little ring here is what's supposed to hold them all. So you can separate the end without the rings falling off. That's not even attached. I still need to clean up some because there's a few where there's gaps. Which I need to fix. But anyway, it's closer. Well, I need to go to work soon, but 
I'll probably finish this up either tomorrow or maybe even later tonight. I have finished. The only thing wrong is there's a little gap right there because I didn't line up the gluing. I marked it, but then I put my cap on the wrong side of the line. So anyway, I'll show you how it solves. And actually, I'm going to use other other markings, but right now I just line it up with numbers. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then oh, something got stuck. It's got to be pretty precise. There we go, and. Sharpie goes in, and then you got to make sure everything's lined up to get it closed as well.